I feel like I should talk about this, um, so <laughs> let's just get on with it. Uh, if you've no idea what's happened, basically, last week, or this week, whatever one you want to call it, this week's been a bit crazy, uh, for Marvel anyway. <laughs> Uh, we had the Age of Ultron trailer, um, we had an exclusive scene, and we also got the film lineup for Phase 3. So I'm just going to go through them all. Uh, let's start off with the Age of Ultron trailer. The Age of Ultron trailer, it looks amazing. Um, it's amazing to see the Hulkbuster in action and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not complaining about, I'm not talking about special effects. Uh, special effects you always leave with the trailers and everything because. They never really finished, but from that, it, from the teaser, it looks amazing as it is. Um, it seems like Hulk's going, uh, Bruce Banner's going to be struggling with the Hulk, and Hulk's going to go a bit crazy. Ultron looks badass. Uh, it's great to see Hawkeye back again. Hopefully, you'll be a good guy for most. The exclusive scene. It seems like this is moment just before Ultron arrives, so, and it's basically just them all, the sort of the Avenger group, just attempting to. With Thor's hammer, it's, it's rather entertaining actually. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for you to watch it. Uh, but it's it's rather fun. It's it's not really <laughs> required viewing, but it's it's quite fun to watch. So let's now move on to the um, well the lineup. I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Starting with Captain America: Civil War. Oh God, I. I this is like <laughs> the ultimate fan dream at the moment for um, Civil War. Basically, if you've no idea what happens in Civil War, some from what I can tell, what's happened, what's happening in so the cinematic universe at the moment, something big is gonna happen at the end of uh, Age of Ultron, and um, in the Civil War, Tony's gonna side with the government, and Captain America's gonna rebel against the government. Um, long story short, I don't want to spoil too much. Um, and Captain America and Iron Man are up against each other. The entire unit, like superhero squad thing, is all split in half. Like, it, is, it is a massive war. And it seems like it's going to be. It sounds. Um, as someone who really likes to come out, it's it's something that's going to be awesome. I can just tell. Um, <laughs> And it's it's quite cool. We've got a Captain America film, so um, hopefully though they're not just going to focus on Captain America, and this is going to be like, oh, Captain America's a saint. Um, no, they need to focus on Iron Man as well, because Iron Man isn't exactly he's not a villain. If you get what I mean, he's he has his reasons for going on that on side with the government, and I think that if they develop onto that, uh, which the seem, seems like they might do with. Uh, AJ Ultron, because it seems like AJ Ultron is going to be the reason why he sides with the government. So there we go. Uh, next up is Doctor Strange. That's going to be quite fun. Uh, I don't know that much about Doctor Strange. All I know is he's a sorcerer and he has like a magic mirror, I think, and he can teleport to different realms. I think. Benedict Cumberbatch is rumored to be playing Doctor Strange. He hasn't been confirmed yet. I think Benedict Cumberbatch would be a great choice though, so let's just hope. And, uh, and if they don't have him, hopefully they'll have a good choice anyway. Um, as I said, I don't know much about Doctor Strange, so I'm not the sort of person that you should be relying all your information on. Uh, next up, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This is... In Guardians of the Galaxy, if you've seen my spoiler review, you'll probably guess that I absolutely love the film. A sequel should be so much fun as well. Um, now that we've set up like, the characters, uh, which usually holds down a film, but in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy it didn't, it wasn't. So we'll get like, the full Guardians of the Galaxy going crazy. Um, <laughs> basically the second half of Guardians of the Galaxy for the, like, the full film in a way. Uh, which I'm, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so... <laughs> Basically, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about Guardians of the Galaxy other than what everybody else knows. Um, from the film. Um, hopefully they'll have Howard the Duck in it. Hopefully. I'm actually hoping we get something awesome with Howard the Duck. Like whether it's just a nerd cameo or something like that. I think it could be quite fun. <laughs> Next though is Thor Ragnarok. I don't know a lot about Thor Ragnarok. I think from what I heard 
from what I heard, it might be something to do with a metal, a metal duplicate or something. I don't know. Um, don't like, take my word for it. Uh, I think that was something. Was I think Thor, th the next Thor, though, um, the chances are considering something massive is going to happen at the end of Age of Ultron. That's just a given, but now. Um, I think Thor will also get affected. Whether he will go back to Asgard, because if you watch the end of Thor 2, uh, what happened with Loki and stuff like that, it seems like it could be rather interesting when he heads, if he heads back to Asgard. I want to see what happens. I don't know whether it's going to be a big battle or something or with Asgard, or whether it's just going to be Thor like, oblivious to what's happened. Basically, it, it seems like it's going to be quite fun. Uh, I'm hoping that they do at least bring up some stuff that's happened in Asgard because it's quite important. <laughs> it's not the sort of thing that you just leave out. Uh, next though, Black Panther. Black Panther is something that I'm really interested in. I'm really... Black Panther is awesome. Uh, and um, it's quite cool how it's set in... It's, like, it's a, he's a, an African tribe member and stuff like that. It's, they're like, an advanced civilization. It's pretty awesome. I don't know much about the Black Panther villain, so I've no idea who they'll get as a villain. Um, but it will be quite interesting to see Black Panther. I can't even remember that much about his origin, so it might be quite a good recap. Um, so let's continue on, and Avengers 3, or Inven Avengers Infinity War Part 1. And that's going to be Thanos uh, with Infinity Gauntlet and I, I think part of me actually thinks that part one might be just them trying to stop Thanos from getting the Infinity Gauntlet. Maybe at the end Thanos will get it. I hope it's known, but part of me gets that feeling because they are setting up at the moment. But at the moment Thanos hasn't been like collecting them yet. He's, it's it's they've just all been set up. But yeah, yeah, it seems like that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna. It, it's possible. I hope they don't, but it, it seems more likely that's what they're going to do. Like, maybe if they have it in the first like half an hour, just Thanos getting it, and then the rest is just chaos. Uh, because it's part one, if it's part one, then it'll be a really dark end. I'm, 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 so I have, I have an unnatural and unhealthy obsession with dark shit. That's not good. But <laughs> that's, what I want. that's how I want to end. Continuing on, we got Captain Marvel. Now, Captain Marvel, I think, is a female. I'm not sure, because Captain Marvel is also what Shazam is known as, I think. Or is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's called Captain Marvel or something in, in uh, DC, which is weird. Cause why would they have the, the rival company's name? <laughs> but, yeah, uh, if they do the female version, I don't know a lot about it. I didn't even know there was a male version, so there we go. I, I really don't know a lot about Miss Marvel, if they, if it's Miss Marvel that they're talking about when they say Captain Marvel. Uh, so I really can't say it, and all I can say is I'm interested to see a female superhero. Uh, then, Inhumans! Yeah, this is like... <laughs> all my knowledge of comics are just going, I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> um, I'm shooting myself at the moment. But Inhumans, I know... <laughs> I think I know more than what other people do. <laughs> Cause it's quite, it seems like quite. A, this is like the Guardians of the Galaxy for quite a lot of people. They're just really confused what, what this is. And humans, basically, it's sort of. I, th I think it's something to do with mutants, but which doesn't make sense because the mutants don't exist. Uh, I, I, and I think they're they're in like a moon or something. I do know one character, I think it's Black Bolt or something, but all I know is he can speak. Uh, that sounds really bad, obviously he can speak, but he can't speak at the same time. He's He can't speak because if he speaks, uh, it's like a shockwave or something. It, I think he can blow up stuff with just like speaking. It's Jesus, that would be horrible. But um, yeah, that's what's happened. And then finally Avengers Infinity War Part 2. This will just be all chaos and violence and mindless violence and destruction <laughs> but in the best way possible um in the best way possible that's in level say but in the best way possible and just in case I did go crazy a bit um 
in Infinity War Part 2 though, I think there might be a oh, there's something I forgot to mention about the Infinite War, it's not meant to be the original Avengers, so I think we'll get the new Avengers, which, uh, I think Captain America, no, uh, I can't remember who's in the new Avengers, I uh, can't remember. I can't remember. I think they'll keep Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch though, so we'll get some. I don't know. Hulk won't be in it, I don't think. Um, but still, it should be quite fun.